Hello, my name is Nell and I have things to say. Living with serious health issues brings with it a whole lot of experiences and routines that are very frustrating and kind of negative and things that really get you down. And it can be hard to find the bright spark in all of that. But something that I tend to do is that if I can't find the bright spark, I'll just light the damn thing myself. If there is not brightness in a situation, then I will create the brightness. One example of this is that um, every month I get blood tests. Uh, it started five years ago, or going on to six now, five and a half years ago, when I was getting a lot of tests to test for Lyme disease, to test for, um, for other autoimmune disorders and vitamin deficiencies. And when I tested positive for quite a few, then it was monthly blood tests to monitor um, like, you know, the, some of the basic levels, monitor things that my medication affects and my illness affects, things like liver function, kidney function, um, checking my vitamin levels to make sure that I'm taking the right supplements and eating the right food, um, checking my white blood cell count to make sure that I'm not getting overwhelmed with infection. It's not a nice process. It's not a nice routine to have to do. It's not a nice thing to put in my diary, you know. Let's go and get stabbed, have somebody drain my blood and then look for all the flaws in it. And then within a few days I might receive a call saying, hey, your liver function is crap. You've got to, you know, increase those really expensive supplements. It's, it's not a nice routine. But I've forced a bright spark in there. There are um, blood collectors that I go to. There are two places that I go to. And people have gotten used to me going there and being kind of, being kind of silly, being kind of fun with it. Um, sorry, puppy appreciation. Um, my collectors get used to my sense of humor. Um, they get used to me being sarcastic, being silly about things. I remember one, one of the blood collection places um, got these cards where they would scan it for your information instead of you having to recite it all. And I said, you know, is this a loyalty card where after giving blood five times I get to have like a free blood transfusion? Um, people laughed. That was nice. That was a bright spark. And another bright spark is that I have named one of my veins, my favorite vein and everyone's favorite vein because it's really, really, it's really fat and juicy. If you have blood tests or you do blood tests, you'll know what I mean. It's, it's fat, it's juicy, it's close to the surface, it's visible, and I've named him Barry Venus. Barry Venus, the blood vessel. When I go to a new collector, I introduce them to Barry and they get a bit weird, but man, by a couple of, like, by a couple of blood tests in, I'll have, I'll have collectors saying, okay, so how's he doing? How's he doing? Oh, he's looking fat. Well done, Barry. They'll stab him. They'll go, oh, here he comes. Well, yeah, he's a good boy. It's great. It's great. It brings a bit of fun to them because I can't imagine that stabbing people is really a fun job. And it just brings a bright spark for me in something that is really an upsetting part of my reality. Having to get blood tests every month isn't normal. And it's a big indicator of the fact that my body isn't functioning. We're monitoring things to make sure that my body keeps functioning. Um, to see if we need any intervention if something isn't functioning. It's not a nice thing, but having Barry Venus kind of makes it a little bit lighter. It lifts the load of something very heavy, injects a little bit of humor and spark and brightness to it so that it's not, it's not just a really difficult, traumatic, emotional chore. And I try to do this, this in, a, in a lot of other parts of my life, just finding something in there that I guess I can laugh at or I can have fun with. And it does kind of help to ease the load and take the edge off. So if you have routines or things that you go through that really bring you down, that weigh you down heavy, and you want to find the bright spark but you just can't find it, you might have to light it yourself because sometimes it isn't there until you create it. And that's okay. Because the sparks that you light yourself are just as valid as the ones that you discover as you go through life. So yeah, I really encourage you to find your Barry Venus. <laughs>
find something in those frustrating and wearing routines. Find something that makes you smile, that makes it feel a little bit lighter. Because it's worth it, especially when this is every day. It's worth it to just lighten the load a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's that's all. That's all from me. Um, hope you enjoyed. I'm wearing a Star Wars t-shirt today and um, a Millennium Falcon necklace. Bright sparks, people. All right. Bye. Bless.